They're trying to blackball the boy Kanye West. Which we already knew because of everything he said. I mean, it's not only just the music industry that's trying to do this to him. It is literally fashion, banks. Like, he couldn't even... Where did they put his money? They probably, like, just... They sent him a billion dollars in cash or however much money he had liquid because most of the time when billionaires are rich or when they, when they are worth a billion, they don't have that money in a bank account. It's like, that's how much the Yeezy or whatever companies they own goes up to over a billion dollars but they probably have like a, a, a few m's or maybe even a hundred m's but not a billion it's like virtually impossible to have a billion dollars in cash but maybe jeff bezzy might might do that so anyway actually i think he just pulled out two billion dollars recently but regardless so kanye is getting blackballed by his distributor which i guess they already told him that they didn't want to distribute the project vultures so essentially like he tried to go to them and they said nah they vetoed it because of all of this history like understandably i'm not condoning it or vetoing it i still mess with kanye i don't really care i separate the artist from the music also i know what kanye is doing he's just doing it for controversy okay so it's it's not really that big of a deal in my opinion um but we've already talked about that so he wanted to distribute his vultures one project through them and they said no but then they got like an insider in that distributor and gave them the album almost like a distro kid situation where they submitted it automatically or like you know you can you can submit to distro kid like your album there's going to be barely any checks so that's what they did through this distributor and once they found out they took down the album on Apple Music and Spotify. So this project, not only did it have issues even getting on Spotify in the first place, and then Apple Music, it got removed for like 10 minutes or something. But again, it got removed like a few days ago. I think it probably got removed on Spotify too, but good thing he found another distributor. I don't know why as a distributor, you wouldn't want to distribute Kanye, like all morals aside, but I guess people do have morals. So I'll give it to them. But that's a bag right there. Like, even if you get like 1% just for putting his songs on, on Spotify and Apple Music, claim, they should have just claimed, like, we didn't know that Kanye did. I don't think anyone was knocking on their door. Like, how could you condone Kanye and his music? And they'd be like, yo, they can claim ignorance. Yo, I didn't even know he did it through our, our, our distributor. He did it in the back end system through one of our employees. That person definitely got fired but a brief dalliance with fuga so fuga said that a long-standing fuga client delivered the album vultures one through the platform's automated processes violating our service agreement as a result the company said it planned to remove vultures from our systems this created some turbulence for west release yeah because not only did he release it not on friday night when like first week sales start counting but he dropped it like the day after or on saturday i can't remember and then it got taken down put back up like several times so the first week sales i think it ended up being like what 153 i want to say which is pretty solid if you ask me especially when he's independent like he's making a bag because nobody is taking any sort of cut from him except for the distributor as we talked about before but that's usually minimal especially if they didn't give him any money up front like, what are you going to give Kanye? Like, he could probably take like 10 M's just right there. Easy. Maybe 20, 30. I don't know. Depending on how big his music is. But it is streaming a lot. Like, Carnival, I think, was projected to be number two on Billboard. So, they'd have to give him a lot of money to even get any part of the Masters. But since he's independent, it's all his. As I was saying, though, let's see. Uh, Kanye's album sold. Yeah. 153k and if you ask me 153k while being blackballed i don't even think like he he said screw apple or something hating on them but it wasn't them in the first place it was the distributor so he can't he, he gotta take that back and they probably put him on playlists i believe carnival and some other songs were on rap caviar for spotify so they definitely didn't blackball him he's probably not going to be on radio or any of those things but who really listens to the radio but without all that he still got 153k which is crazy and now in the amount of streams though let's do the math 153k 
times or what divided by no times 1500 that's carry the zero jesus christ that's like 230 million streams in the first week kanye did his thing so you can't really blackball kanye I, he's one of the only artists where yeah you can be like a da baby level or uh i don't know six nine level where yeah they got billboard hits but if everyone stops messing with them like labels don't want to give them money to market their music nobody will know that you're dropping plus people just don't like them but even when kanye does kind of heinous things in a way like objectively even though again i know he was joking or maybe he wasn't then he's he doesn't even need the marketing budget from these labels he can go independently he just does a listening party and it goes viral just because it's kanye he's an icon so you literally cannot blackball kanye that should be they should know this so if you're a distributor just take the money